Welcome to Captain News. Have I got news for you? We have very good news for Crystal Clear and Kevin the Cave. For the past 2000 years, Crystal Clear has been a prisoner of Kevin the Cave. Kevin has kept her trapped inside the cave ever since Crystal Clear entered on her expedition. At first, Crystal was intrigued by the talking cave and they became friends. Crystal was given food and Kevin used to take really good care of Crystal. But he was scared that one day perhaps she would leave and he would feel lonely again. So Kevin closed all the exits. 2000 years later, however, Crystal helped Kevin realize that there are lots of other people in the world who would also want to be friends with Kevin. If only he was friendly and did not trap them. As a result, Kevin is now open to the public and Crystal willingly visits Kevin once a week. She says that even Kevin seems more happy because he has got lots of new friends and is now getting a lot of visitors. The Daisy Dolls League are anything but dainty or even delicate. These dolls are amazing and an example to dolls all over the world that they too can be and can do anything that they want. For this reason, they set to work to build the most amazing dollhouse one has ever seen. But it wasn't the usual kind of dollhouse, with a beauty parlor, a swimming pool, and other girly things. This dollhouse had a DIY section, a small clinic, a research lab, and even a garage where motorbikes are kept. However, to their dismay, Tony the T-Rex had been eyeing the development of this new house and waited with bated breath to make his move. Just as he crept out from behind the sofa, a large meteoroid was seen near the ceiling. Tony had done his best to survive the last fallout from a huge meteoroid who couldn't believe it was about to happen again. Lo and behold, the meteoroid wasn't actually from space. It was just a tennis ball that had bounced into the living room, except Tony didn't realize this. So he threw himself off Seti the sofa who caught him just in time and munched him up. Meanwhile, the Daisy Dolls house is near completion. In a recent incident at the local council, a table and a chair refused to be seated together, even though they were made for each other. Local council leader Mike the Microphone had this to say. <clears throat> it was terrible. Terry and Cherry would just not cooperate. They hated each other. And all because of a little misunderstanding about Tao the tablecloth preferring to be put on the chair rather than the table. Oh dear, this made Terry the tablecloth very angry indeed, which is why he refused to have anything to do with Cherry the chair. Can you imagine a table getting jealous over a chair with a tablecloth on it? Though to be fair, I would probably feel a little left out. Thank you for joining us on Captain News. Over to you, Muhammad Ali, back in the studio.